Welcome to Bioscholar. Today, we'll dive into the fascinating world of plant tissue culture. We'll explore what plant tissue culture is, its key requirements, and its wide-ranging applications in agriculture and beyond. Let's get started. So, what is plant tissue culture? Plant tissue culture is a cutting-edge technique used to cultivate plant cells, tissues, or even entire organs in a meticulously controlled and artificial environment outside their parent organism. It is also known as micropropagation. This innovative method has transformed modern plant science by enabling the sterile growth and regeneration of plants, offering unparalleled precision and potential. At its core, tissue culture involves a range of techniques to maintain or grow plant cells, tissues, or organs in a sterile setup. This process relies on aseptic culture, where all potential contaminants are eliminated, and controlled environmental conditions ensure optimal growth. By fostering a clean and isolated environment, scientists can multiply plant cells or regenerate complete organs and plants with high efficiency. This remarkable technique holds immense promise for agriculture, horticulture, and conservation, paving the way for advancements such as disease free plant production rapid propagation of desirable traits, and the preservation of endangered species. Plant tissue culture plays a pivotal role in modern plant biotechnology, offering a gateway to harness the full potential of plant systems. By mastering these techniques, scientists gain critical insights into plant biology, enabling the effective use of plant cells, tissues, and organs for various applications. This method reveals the physical and chemical conditions essential for plant growth and development under sterile and controlled environments. Let's take a closer look at the types of tissue culture. Tissue culture is a broad term generally associated with the culture of animal cells and tissues. However, when it comes to plants, the specialized term plant tissue culture is used to describe the cultivation of plant cells, tissues, or organs in a controlled environment. The success of plant tissue culture depends on specialized growth media, which may be liquid, semi-solid, or solid, such as nutrient-rich broths or agar. These media provide the nutrients required for plant tissue growth under precisely regulated conditions of light, temperature, and humidity. This delicate process demands sterile techniques, precise environmental controls, and specialized labs equipped with the necessary tools and chemicals. Its meticulous nature underscores its critical role in advancing scientific research and agricultural practices. The term, tissue culture, was first coined by American pathologist Montrose Thomas Burroughs in the late 19th century. Over the years, this technique has evolved and been applied for various purposes in scientific research. Let's look at some key milestones. In 1885, Wilhelm Rue demonstrated the principle of tissue culture by maintaining a section of the medullary plate from an embryonic chicken in warm saline solution. In 1902, Gottlieb Haberlandt introduced the concept of plant tissue culture, known as totipotentiality, proposing that all plant cells have the potential to regenerate into a complete plant. In 1907 zoologist Ross Granville Harrison pioneered the growth of frog embryonic cells into nerve cells using a clotted lymph medium. Today, tissue culture encompasses the in vitro growth of cells from multicellular organisms, ranging from primary cells, isolated from donors, to immortalized cell lines. Cells are grown in nutrient-rich media essential for their survival and development. While tissue culture is often used interchangeably with cell culture, it specifically refers to the cultivation of tissue pieces. In the realm of plant science, tissue culture focuses on cultivating entire plants from small tissue segments using nutrient-enriched media, making it a cornerstone of modern biotechnology. Plant tissue culture, or the in vitro cultivation of plant parts, requires specific laboratory conditions and facilities to ensure successful growth and development. Here are the key requirements. Cultivation must occur in a sterile environment to prevent contamination by microorganisms. 
The isolated plant material needs optimal conditions to promote cell division and the expression of its regenerative potential. To perform plant tissue culture effectively, the following facilities are indispensable. A clean start is crucial. This area is equipped with sinks, detergents, and brushes for thorough cleaning of glassware and tools. Sterilized items are then stored in dedicated shelves or cabinets, ready for use in the culture process. Here's where the magic begins. Workbenches and precision tools are used to prepare nutrient-rich growth media, with pH meters ensuring the perfect balance. Autoclaves sterilize media, tools, and containers under high pressure and temperature, while pure water systems guarantee contamination-free preparations. Sterility is everything. Laminar airflow cabinets provide a contamination-free zone for handling plant tissues. UV lights, alcohol-based disinfectants, and sterilized instruments like scalpels and forceps ensure the process remains impeccably clean. Growth happens here. These rooms are equipped with temperature controls, specialized lighting systems, and humidity regulation to create the perfect environment for plant tissues. Shelves and racks keep everything organized as the cultures develop. Tracking progress is essential. Microscopes allow scientists to observe the fine details of cell and tissue structures, while cameras capture each stage of development. Computers and journals keep records for analysis and documentation. This is where cultured plants transition to the outside world. Plantlets are carefully transferred to pots or trays filled with soil mixtures. Controlled greenhouses or humidity chambers help them acclimatize to natural conditions, with regular irrigation ensuring their survival. With these essential facilities, plant tissue culture becomes a precise and efficient process, opening doors to groundbreaking advancements in agriculture, biotechnology, and conservation. Let's explore some of the remarkable applications of plant tissue culture and how this innovative technique is shaping the future of science and agriculture. Tissue culture enables the rapid production of large numbers of genetically identical plants. This technique is extensively applied in horticulture and agriculture for crops like bananas, sugarcane, and orchids, ensuring uniformity and high-quality yields. Using meristem or shoot-tip culture, Scientists can eliminate viruses and other pathogens, producing healthy plants. This method is critical for ensuring the cultivation of robust and disease-resistant crops. Tissue culture plays a vital role in preserving biodiversity by propagating rare or endangered plant species in vitro. These plants can later be reintroduced into their natural habitats, aiding in conservation efforts. This technique provides a platform for genetic engineering enabling scientists to introduce desirable traits into plants, such as pest resistance, drought tolerance, or enhanced nutritional value. Tissue culture is an essential tool for advancing crop genetics. Through plant cell cultures, valuable secondary metabolites like alkaloids, flavonoids, and essential oils are produced. These compounds have significant pharmaceutical and industrial applications. Somatic embryos generated through tissue culture can be encapsulated to create synthetic seeds. These seeds are easily stored, transported, and propagated, offering a sustainable solution for agriculture. Tissue culture techniques facilitate the cryopreservation of plant cells, tissues, or embryos in liquid nitrogen. This approach ensures long-term storage and protection of genetic material for rare or economically vital species. Protoplast culture involves regenerating plants from isolated cells without cell walls. Additionally, protoplast fusion enables the creation of hybrid plants by merging cells from two different species, combining beneficial traits in a single plant. Haploid plants, containing only one set of chromosomes, are produced via tissue culture using pollen or anther cells. This accelerates plant breeding by allowing the development of homozygous lines in fewer generations. Through heat treatment and meristem culture, plants infected with viruses can be cleaned and regenerated into disease-free stock. This technique ensures the production of healthy and resilient crops. Tissue culture is instrumental in developing plants capable of absorbing and detoxifying pollutants from soil, water, and air. 
These plants are essential for environmental cleanup and sustainability. Cultured plant cells are being engineered to produce edible vaccines, which can be delivered through fruits or leaves, offering a cost-effective and accessible healthcare solution. By culturing plant cells under stress conditions such as salinity, drought, or heavy metals, researchers can select and propagate stress-tolerant variants, crucial for adapting crops to changing environments. Tissue culture allows the cloning of trees with desirable traits like improved timber quality, pest resistance, or faster growth, supporting sustainable forestry practices. Lastly, tissue culture provides a controlled platform for studying fundamental plant processes, including cell division, differentiation, and organ development, advancing our understanding of plant biology. These diverse applications highlight the transformative potential of plant tissue culture in addressing global challenges, from food security to environmental conservation. And that wraps up our exploration of plant tissue culture. From its essential laboratory facilities to its diverse applications, this innovative technique continues to revolutionize agriculture, horticulture, and conservation efforts. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Bioscholar for more insights into the fascinating world of biology and biotechnology. Have any questions or suggestions? Drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.